Hi, my name is Willux, and this is episode two of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. I'm playing in the closed beta. All right, let's show you some of the changes. For instance, the changes to the smell tree, the changes to uh, compacting drawers, and a few other odds and ends. But let's get started with the stuff I did off camera deliberately. Let's start over here. I made a mob farm. I've made mob farms like this many times before. There's only small changes each time. Uh, it's one deep. That's deliberate. The people that, where you see them doing it too deep, that's so they can get spiders. I'm deliberately not doing it, especially in this pack, because we have um, charge creepers, John Cena creepers that can blow up the whole thing on you. And if a creeper gets a look at you, it can explode. So we're deliberately only making it one deep so they can't get an angle on me. The reason that some of the uh, other YouTubers, they'll stand, see I'm, if I'm standing one back from it, then you can do it without getting hit by them. And they deliberately stand back a little bit from it, don't get up close to it. But that really sets yourself up for mistakes, especially if you can blow the whole thing up. All right, so that's set up. Um, these are just the uh, little uh, lamps from Tiny Progressions. Do I have a lamp? No, I don't. It's just a piece of glass with a torch. That's all it takes to make these. I would have made them a different color, but I didn't have any dyes yet, so that didn't happen. All right, what happened to my... Why is my mini-map like that? That's weird. I don't know what's going on with my mini-map. I don't care. Okay, so now I'm going to make myself an Osmium Paxil. So to do that, we're going to start off with these three things. Then we're going to put them back up in there. And like that. And notice this does 10 damage, which is pretty good. Better than uh, most things I can make for now with the... Uh, Tinkerers or something like that. And it's a multi-purpose. I don't have to have too many things on my bar, etc. Um, I'm annoyed because now I can't see whether uh, anything's showing up over there. Okay, anyways. So uh, once that gets done, we're going to need a bag storage. That's the same recipe as always, I think. And now this used silver. I don't know if it always used silver for the bag opener or not. Probably did, but uh, I'm not sure. All right, and I'm going to want a couple of crates as well. And I've got these here. Flat transfer nodes. You make them by placing an anvil on a regular transfer node. Regular transfer node is made like that. Transfer pipe. It's all standard stuff. Nothing, uh, nothing changed there. All right. So I think I'm going to put to set it up for right here. And there is a, oh. And my whole base is 24 from uh, spawn all the way around. So nothing can spawn up here. I did put lights up here, but that's for you. Um, nothing could spawn up here anyways. And I did the same thing down below. And one, two, three, four. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one of these down there. Then we're going to take and put this on, our bag storage. Bag storage is set to common loot bags. That's what I want. Oh, this time, out. oh, I know I checked it for Titan. I haven't checked it for Kappa. It does make a difference if you get higher level bags. Uh, remember back in normal mode at the time I said it just wasn't much better getting anything else. There were a few minor differences. 
well, there are stuff you can get from the higher level bags. But until I get an automated one, I'm doing all uh, the lowest level bags just to get the most stuff. And so we'll put that down there. We'll stick down our bag opener. We'll stick another one on there. I should use something faster here, but for the manual map farm, I'm just not worried about it because this is going to be way quicker than that's going to pull stuff. Um, so I might I might even get sick of it and run uh, a thing underneath. Actually, I probably should. Let's do that. Um, yeah, so... Let's... I have been, for speed, I have been using Signalum, uh, because that was easy for me to make. Uh, signalum is, and we'll get to that in a sec, it's just copper and silver and 20 redstone and we get 8 signalum out of it. I didn't have any interpearls yet so I'm using a ladder for now. Okay, so we're going to be running from here and putting There, like that. And now we can put our thing back. And as you see, it runs from there to there. Because that'll be way quicker than that flat transfer node. All right. What's next? I think I need to eat. Whoops, wrong side. Eating. Oh, I've got a bunch more here. Probably going to need to do some more oaks. I'm doing birch over there right now. If I want some apples or come up with some other food source. All right. What else are we doing for right now? Oh, yeah. Now my mini map seems to be back. Don't know what caused it to go out. Um, let's talk about the smeltery. So this looks a little weird. What's going on here? Okay, so to make the uh, stuff here, um, actually, this isn't compressed. Let's grab a compressed one. Compressed. That's compressed gravel. It's not what I want. I want compressed. Okay. I just actually I don't want them there. Just one of them. Because I've already made it, so I don't need to do it anymore. So if we notice up here, I've got a chest up on top. It feeds things down into here. And it's melting the compressed one. I'll turn this lever on now. And notice I'm not using grout. I'm using compressed cobble. Now the way this is all working is I've got blaze mesh, which is a 30 times there. And uh, heat sand would be better, but I've got to go to the nether to get that. And it's pumping the cobble into there. And then flat fluid transfer node is putting it into this. And it also puts it into this. This uh, barrel has lava in it. And I can put something like uh, glowstone or redstone or something up there, feeds it down to there, and feeds me out my end stone or red rack. But anyways, so this here, there, it's melted it, and it's boring it. Because you can't put just straight cobble in there. It seems to have to be compressed. But you can skip the whole grout thing that way. So that's how I made all of uh, these here. But So why am I using the porcelain ones if instead of the others? Well, let's take a look here. For instance, smeltery controller. You've got to make it like that. 
you need the porcelain melter first. And I considered tearing down my porcelain melter over there and doing it, but I had to show you how I did it all. Same thing with the porcelain tank. Sorry, the the other tank. Seared tank. You gotta use the porcelain tank first. Let's say for this use. Again, you've got to make the porcelain casting table, then put those around it. So it doesn't cost much for seared bricks, so it doesn't really matter. I could have used the black one, but I wanted to show you that you didn't have to. You could have just used them as porcelain right away. And I used porcelain as the uh, those. The, again, same thing. You wrap them in um, seared brick to make the uh, black ones. Um, one thing I want to show you and I'm sure that it used to work when I showed it in normal that you could put down redstone on top of these things. You can't anymore. I don't think that's a Kappa mode thing. I think it was just an update thing. I don't think you were ever supposed to be able to put redstone directly on them. So instead I ran it around the top and I've got this so I can turn it on and off when I'm making stuff. All right. So, what else? Standard way, I've got 16 of these things running around. I've got the uh, the fast ones down below here. You can see, get a better look over here. So, these have nice big filter size, and they are a... Uh, does it have it up here? They are a 0.5 seconds Whereas if I got just the regular version of it, it'd take three seconds for each pull. So this pulls it out of those things really fast. For instance, if I were to, I've got it up here where I could put in like, fill this thing with iron, stacks of iron, have it all come down into here as fast as it, and it can take uh, 64 at a time. Um, it's four deep and four around. As fast as it can melt the iron, it pours the iron. There's 16 of these tables running around the outside here. And they pour and pull and put it over here as fast as uh, it can melt it. This, I, ha I used to have something on here. I made some aluminum brass so that I can uh, make my uh, molds and stuff over here. I've got one mob over here. What have we got? Just a zombie. Oh, what's that? A witch. No skeletons. I want to uh, deliberately want a drop of evil. So I need my uh, wither skeletons. And I've got a bucket of uh, witch water over there to make them. Okay, so explain to this thing here. And then over here, same as I did in normal mode. Well, slightly different. Um, it's going down in the retrievers. Let's look at retrievers. There. Yeah. Retrievers. So, for instance, if I wanted to use uh, that, well, I would have needed two ender pearls and emerald. I, actually, I don't even know that that's different, but I, I think it is. I think that's tougher there. And if I wanted to use a retriever, for one of these, again, ender pearls. And at the time, I didn't have any ender pearls. So I had to set this up in a different way. And there is one of those pipes coming out from the bottom of that thing over this way. The reason I used these things instead of the ducts is both items and fluid can go through the same pipe down and into it. So this is pumping sand at it. I had two stacks of sand in here originally. And the sinks made the same way as always. No recipe change there. Goes down there and that's making soul stand. The reason that I'm making soul stand, well, let's take out a stack of this. Actually, I don't even want a whole stack. I'm not going to use that much. We come over here and we'll do it in the diamond one. I've got four. I've only made four diamonds so far.
So as you can see, that's how I'm going to get my, uh, what you call it, the nether quartz. And what am I going to be doing with the nether quartz? We need eight of it. And we come over, oh, and we're going to want a piece of coal. Notice I did a whole pile of sieving off camera, both gravel, sand, and dust. We put this in here. And that makes eight smoky quartz. We take the smoky quartz, put them in a furnace, and that's going to make our black quartz. So if you're wondering how to get black quartz in, uh, and that's the same in normal or whatever, but I thought I'd better show it because a lot of people have trouble with that, especially if they were waiting just for kappa. So that's how you get your uh, black quartz. Now, did I finish off the smell tree? I think so. We got lots more mobs here. I'm bound to have a skeleton in here somewhere, so look at that. Zombie, sheep, zombie, sheep. I don't see a skeleton in there. I need to set up a lapis lamp. That's what I forgot. So as we can see, that came over here and what the hell? Oh, it did that all that fast? Oh, right, right, right. I've got the faster thing down below. So that emptied it out really, really quick. Well, I guess I'm not going to have to do oaks. I'm going to have lots of apples. Oh, and I think we get pizzas and things too. So that's fine. All right. Oh, I don't want to be carrying around the, I want this to be there when I want it. Okay, so next up, let's uh, make ourselves an unbreakable hammer because I'm gonna have to do more sieving yet. So I'm still gonna have to uh, um, crush some stuff, including right away actually. So I'm gonna make a basic stone tool rod Come over here, we need one osmium. Osmium takes a little while, so we'll put that in there right now. And that's full of aluminum brass. And these ones aren't set up the same way as the ones around the other side, so I can do them one off like. That's going to take a sec. I know what else I need. I'm going to need five blank ones. To make my reinforced with. Oh, I should show you something else. Um, I've done this before, but just in case somebody's new to my channel, take a bucket. We come over here. Oh, if you're wondering about that, that's um, OG Aristotle, and he's wearing ponytails for some reason. Or pigtails, pigtails. But if I take a bucket of lava, that down there is a uh, stone barrel. And if I put the lava in there like that, I can immediately pull out obsidian. So that's how I've been getting my obsidian. I could automate it, but uh, I just haven't bothered. That should be finished by now. So we're going to pour ourselves out a uh, osmium tool rod. 
I'll come over here. Oh, and I sieve down some. What did I do? Right. I put one stack of glowstone in there. It went down to the lava and it came out and it made endstone. Then I crush the endstone down. You can while you can compress it, it won't break with a hammer the same way. And then I sieved it down in diamond. And I got myself 36 prosperity shards. Three of those and the thing I really wanted. Oh yeah. The ender lilies over here. Now, here's a question for you. It should show me how far the growth is. Well, it should show that to me. And it isn't. Now, I can tell by the looks of these, these things are finished. But I would really like to know, actually, let's not put them in our hands like that. I'm liable to launch myself somewhere. So I, I got my ender lilies and I got 12, is that 12? Yeah, I got 12 of them by uh, sieving that down that way. All right. So what was I doing here? Right. I need the prosperity shirts. Getting sidetracked all the time. All right, so I'm going to make myself a sledgehammer. This is, is going to use up eight of them. And notice it's writable. And I'm also going to make myself one of those. And again, it's writable. And I'm going to take those and I'm going to sledge. And now I've got writable two on my sledgehammer. We're going to come over here, and that's all obsidian that I made. I showed you how I made that. Put that in there. Now I've got my reinforced. And I kept one of these around just for the hell of it, so I'll show you that it's there. Put that in there, that in there. Actually, I don't think it matters if I try to do it like this. I think I still have to do them one at a time, yeah. I could have just stacked them all in one slot. It would have worked. Notice it is now unbreakable. So I've now got an unbreakable sledge when I go to the nether and hit some netherrack or something, and I can gather it all that way. All right. So what's next up here? Okay, here's another change. Making a piston. You use electrotyne ingot, which uses electrotyne iron compound, which you take the electrotyne and iron. You get that from sieving sand. And then you cook it, and we get those. And that's invar there. So piston has changed a little bit. Still not too bad at all. Then we need to put two there, two there, and we get compacting drawers. I think that's the normal recipe for compacting drawers. All right, so we are going to do a one upgrade to this guy here. All right, and oh, I know what I didn't make in advance. I didn't make myself... I'm not going to have enough iron. Not that I don't have plenty of iron. Um, should have brought over extra iron, maybe. No, that's going to be enough. Okay. We only want eight. And then we put that there with eight of these around it. Now, the next level up for that 
diamonds. And I'm not going to be doing diamonds anytime soon. I don't have enough diamonds, even though I did all sorts of sieving. I've only got this many diamonds. So I've got to do some more. I was waiting until I got my uh, hammer before I uh, did more of that. All right. Now, what I'm going to do with this. Oh, I want a filter. We're going to come over here. And I'm going to put Oh, no, not that way. We want to press control to go in there. Okay. Then I'm going to put this down. Um, I don't have to put anything on top of this. So we'll put this in place. That's going to fill up pretty soon. And what we want to do is put one of those there. Oh, give me a break. I want double compressed cobble, so... We'll come back. Uh, what else did I want to show you? Now, I, I considered moving this with a cardboard box and discovered cardboard boxes don't work on drawers. Just to piss me off. Annoying as hell. Um, so, what we're going to do is... I'm going to show you how to make one anyways. If we take a log... Where's the log? because you can use it to move other things like regular chests and things but I don't know why it's not working on drawers anymore and we get eight of them out of that we come over here and we can make two cardboard boxes or you can use those instead of leaves to make dirt or whatever but uh, the way that would work is you could put it on a crate or a chest I'll show you on something over here for any that haven't seen these things already. Put it down like that, break it, picks it up. That one's empty. This one's got the thing on it. Then you shift, shift right click and you pull it off again and you can just move it around and put it wherever you want like that but they they used to work on drawers they don't seem to work on drawers anymore do I have a uh, double compressed no about to any second now here we go we've got one double compressed okay so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this guy up we're going to put a double compressed in there. Notice it's on a white list. And, oh, yeah, we've got to... Can I... No, that showed me that instead. So we've got to take that. And we've got to right-click that thing. There we go. And we can put our double compressed cobblestone filter in there. So that's all that's going to come up here now. I'll take our compacting drawer. And we'll put our double compressed in that corner there. So then we've got our uh, triple compressed and quadruple compressed. And that's rather than adding upgrades to it. Because we are going to be needing uh, higher level stuff later. And that will keep this fed to there. It was just the simplest way for me to do it. If I, I would have done it differently if I'd set it up in the first place. But I couldn't be bothered making packing tape and moving that and emptying it and doing all the rest of it. All right. Last thing I'm going to do today. Oh, no. 
one more thing. Let's really like to you to see me get the um, zombie creeper creeper. Well, charge creepers do give uh, better stuff. So let's do the creepers. See, this makes them charge creepers like John Cena. Where's my zombie? I've got to put a lapis lamp in here. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so... An epic loot bag. So that's going to make a whole pile of them. So we put that in, and we come up here quick, and we take a look at that. See, it's 59, 58, 57. Speeding them over here, and it's emptying out of here pretty damn quick. Yeah, emptying out at a reasonable speed. All right, and in here we're going to put down... Oh, and put that back in there. Okay, one last thing I'm going to do. And I should have set this up in advance. Where is it? Zinc ingots. I take them, and I did this in normal, so there's nothing different about this. It's still the same way. We can make zinc armor without having to go through the whole rigmarole. So if you need armor early on and don't want to go through the whole thing, there we go. And we've got our armor. Okay, uh, for the quests, I've uh, polished off a whole lot of them, and I could pass them in right now. But I'm not going to be passing in the rack right away. I want your uh, advice on this. What do you think I should do? I, I don't think that the uh, low-level uh, basic loot chests are going to give me anything worthwhile right now. I don't know of uh, anything in particular that I want out of any of these. Um, I think the legendary might have something useful, but I forget what it is. I'd be more interested in the things that I can deliberately aim for, like the saturation totem, so I don't have to worry about eating anymore, but that's by no means critical. Uh, the flight totem, which is here, inconveniently needs 768 racks, so that's way down the road. What, if anything, do you think are I should be getting out of the totems or anything else. Uh, what should I be spending my rack on? What do you think? I don't think it's any different here for Kappa. Well, actually, flight totem might be different. I don't know. All right, so that's it for this episode. I hope you got something worthwhile out of it. Oh, actually, just before we end it off, I did make myself a uh, hopping bonsai. Same recipe as normal, so nothing special there. It's feeding it all down into here. I'm deliberately keeping the sticks and the wood. Sticks are actually more valuable now. And then it's feeding all the leaves and uh, saplings into here and making it into dirt. Um, I so far have 10 dirt. I want a whole pile of dirt. I'm going to set up a platform. I'll probably have it for next episode if this thing does its thing fast enough. I'm going to set up a whole uh, plat grass platform over there and put my... Where is it? And put my nature core on there and spawn some mobs because I want to be able to get into... Where are we here? It wants you to go to the nether with a nether cake. Nether cake, I'm going to need to make a cake. To make a cake, I need milk and eggs. Now, there are alternatives to getting milk. Um, what? Uh, that's not showing anything. I think there are alternatives for milk. Like, I'm not sure if you can use soya milk or whatever to make a cake, but you might be able to. To get soy, you can make a market, and then you spend a couple of rack to get a soy seed, 
and make it that way. I'm not sure if that works or not. You can let me know in the comments. Um, and there may be other methods of getting milk, but otherwise I've got to wait till I get enough skulls to, uh, to make a, um, um, what do you get, portal to uh, lost cities or go off to some other place like Landia. And as I showed you, Landia is a little bit more involved than before. So I figured that since I've got the nature core, I might as well show you how to use it and get it that way. But that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Go out there and have some fun. Thanks.